Yo guys, what up and welcome back to another one. Yeah, as you can tell, my hands are all painy. I have been working my butt off on this darn cow blind. I mean, woo! But I had to redo the intro of the video and for good reason. For one thing, I really got to thank you guys so much for the enormous outpouring of support for Fred. A couple videos ago, I asked you guys for your tips for your tactics that you guys use for parvo treatment. If you guys are new to the channel, I got up my first hunting dog. He's in Nashville, Tennessee. He's at the vet as we speak because of Parvo. So I just uh, really appreciate all the support, guys. It's been amazing. So a quick update on Fred is that as of last night, which was Sunday night, he was taking his first bites of food. Major progress, right? And then today, he's been feeling a lot better and he started wagging his tail. So if I can guess, in the, in the next day or two, we, yes, you guys are going too, we're going to be hitting the road for Nashville to go pick up Fred. So I hope you guys are really excited because I am very, very, very excited to finally meet Fred. I've never actually even got to hold Fred. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But again, thank you guys for all the support for Fred. Uh, you guys have gave me so many helpful tips uh, on keeping Fred here and keeping the other dogs safe so they won't get parvo and uh, keeping the, gr the ground clear, all the dirt because the feces and the poop soak into the ground. So thank you. But we're going to get on with the video today. Uh, you guys are going to enjoy it. Today I got a treat for y'all. Oh my goodness. So on a lot of the videos I always ask you guys like always quiet man cardinal is over there just making all sorts of noise on a ton of videos i'm always asking you guys hey man what do you guys want to see i've been doing the starling shoots on the farm been doing some pigeon hunting but all in all i really know that you guys are liking the farm videos i'm loving the farm videos as well I love being on the farm. And one of you guys had the best video recommendation I've ever read in my life. But anyways, making a cow blind. I've always wanted to make a cow blind for goose hunting, for duck hunting, for dove hunting. Basically a cow blind is just that. It's a blind just like kind of like an A-frame blind or a panel blind, but it looks like a cow. And one of you guys recommended it for the farm for the starling hunting. And it's perfect because the farm as you guys know is packed with nothing but dairy cows and the last video that me and Jordan did we actually hunted right by the cows so one of you again was just like Bob you need to make you a homemade cow blind and you could literally pile them starlings up now it's not about decoying the starlings in front of the blind it's basically just being hidden a lot better so they don't notice you so they'll actually fly over you a lot lower Starlings are extremely smart, but this isn't going to be used for only starlings. We're going to do deer hunting, goose hunting, pigeon hunting, duck hunting, dove hunting, all the above out of it. Oh, yep. I went to the old Home Depot and picked up everything I needed. One thing I wanted, I wanted it to be light. So I got some quarter inch OSB. I got white paint, black paint, both exterior paint. So they'll be good outside. Got me some new bits so I can cut this bad boy out. And I got all my paint and utensils. Once I get it built, that's when I'm going to paint it. And I'm going to paint it to try to look exactly like those Holstein yearlings. <laughs> but honestly, I thank you guys so much for always putting your video recommendations down in the comment section. Just like this one. Makes for an epic video and a lot of fun for both me and all you guys. But before we get started here... I got to give a big shout out to Ducks Waterfowl Co. This video is actually fully sponsored by Ducks Waterfowl Co. If it wasn't for ducks, I wouldn't be able to make these videos every darn day. And if it wasn't for you guys purchasing ducks gear like this hoodie, this hat, or them bad boy thermal sweats, again, I wouldn't be able to do this. So thank you all for picking something up. If you want anything from ducks, I will link it in the description below. Like I said, all your purchases go directly to help me bring you guys more videos. Well, uh, drawing, I'm going to draw out what I need to cut. I'm going to try to cut as minimal as possible here. I am not the best drawer in the world. I just went to Google 
and found me a good picture of a good old Holstein. <laughs> and I'm trying to match it. This is going to be the goofiest looking cow you've done ever seen in your life. <laughs> Well, that's the head, and like I said, I want to keep the board as big as possible to fit two guys behind it. All these times, me and Jordan out on the farm, we've been sitting on buckets and trying to hide panel blinds. This is going to be a game changer. But if you guys are liking the homemade cow blind so far, you got to smash that thumbs up button for your boy. Whew, been out here working my tail off. I had to sit the camera down for a little bit just so I could get some stuff done. Oh, <laughs> but check her out. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of liking the no leg deal. For the simple fact, if I put it on legs, it's going to lift the bottom off the ground. And then you're going to be able to see our chairs or our feet or stuff moving under there. I don't know if that'll look so natural. But what this does look like is a big old freaking fat cow, especially when she's painted up. This old girl is going to look good. It almost looks, you know how cows kind of get on their knees to lay down? That kind of looks like what she's doing. Now, here is where all the magic happens, is right in here. As you can tell, I braced her up with a brace there, a brace down there, a brace right in the middle, because essentially this is only a two-man deal. One guy here, one guy there. And I wanted to make it extra light, so I didn't even use full 2x4s. I think these are like, or 2 by 3 I just wanted to use the lightest stuff possible, thin OSB, thin supports, so that way it's lighter. So when we're in the field, we can just pick it up and move wherever we want to go. <laughs> now I do want to put the homemade Starling decoys back out there, you know, the ones with the pop cans and the socks on top, and use the cow blind. We're definitely going to be sniping the old Starlings with the air rifle out of the cow blind. So, many things to come with the cow blind. I'm going to get her painted here. It's going to take a little bit. Now, we'll probably paint uh, both sides, not to completely match, because both sides usually don't match, I don't think. If they do, drop a comment down below and let me know, because I'm definitely not a cattle expert by no means. I'm excited for this one, y'all. I have to say, out of a lot of videos, I am ex look. I'm I'm a disaster. I'm excited about this one. I am excited. Check her out. Oh yeah. So I put the white on first, and I'm letting it dry. And the reason why I did white first is because black is going to cover over white a lot better. So I put my white blotches everywhere on both sides. Check this side. It's a little different. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations for the blind, drop a comment down below right now. I think I'm going to do this as well. If you guys want to see this video, you got to let me know. I'm thinking about doing a hay bale blind too, because I know hay bale blinds, I could use a lot more for waterfowl hunting, probably a lot more than the cow blinds. So, let me know if you want to see that video as well. Well, been waiting forever for this thing to dry. Oh yeah, she is dry. Let's put on the black. Well, here we go. Here's the black. Oh yeah, this is gonna look good. Now guys, this isn't gonna be used for starlings only. I'll be able to do snow goose jumps with this bad boy. A lot of jump shoots, a lot of snow goose jump shoots can be done out of this. It's gonna be used for many, many different purposes. I can guarantee it. Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all. It turned out way way better than I expected but literally used all the paint I had I have nothing left make sure you get exterior paint guys a quart of black and a quart of white you don't need to go spending a bunch of money for a gallon of this and a gallon of that one quart of each and you're good look at that thing it looks ten times better when you actually get it out here in the yard Oh my goodness, look at her, boys. Now, like I said, I painted as much as I could to kind of darken it up. I do need to get some more paint and paint the bottoms there, but that's where we're going to be sitting. Here's the other side here. I think this side might look a hair better. What do you guys think? But to get in here, you just step over that bad boy. Oh, and you're in here. This ain't bad. This ain't bad at all. 
And what's awesome is I carried it out here by myself. Look at this. Boom. Just pick the whole thing up, walk it wherever I want to go. How sweet is this thing? Honestly, I'm so glad I did this. We're going to be able to do snow goose jumps, all kinds of stuff. And I'm extra glad uh, that I used extremely thin plywood. Quarter inch plywood, y'all. Some two bys. I think these are actually two by twos. So do not use two by fours. You're, you're just adding unnecessary weight. But the nice thing is when you get two guys in this, you'll be able to carry it a lot easier. It'll be literally half the weight of what it is right now. But we have a lot of weather going on, as you can tell. And this build actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would. So we're actually not able to hunt today. It's supposed to be storming literally all day. But be expecting literally this week, we're going to do our first starling hunt out of the cow blind. Now the total, I got the receipt right here, guys. The total that I spent for everything was $71.22. Now, I didn't really need to buy the uh, paint rollers, the roller handle, uh, and maybe the paint pans. I might have had those, so I probably could have saved myself maybe 10 or 15 bucks. But all in all, that's pretty darn cheap. And it's going to be reusable because it's all painted. It's going to be completely painted with outdoor paint, which is waterproof. So, should last quite some time. But again, guys, thank you so much for dropping your video ideas down in the comment section below. I got to give it up to you guys. You guys always come through for me, and I love it because we both get something out of it. You guys give me the good ideas. You guys help me out with video content, and I bring the sauce. But subscribe if you haven't, guys. Be expecting the Fred videos to come, too. We're going to be on the road. Me and Dad's going to be hitting the road to Nashville here any day. Again, big shout out to Ducks. Without them, I couldn't be doing this every day. And without you guys picking up the Ducks merch, I definitely couldn't be doing this every day. But I will link all the Ducks gear down in the description below. Thank you guys for the support. And always, the support for Fred, the support for Ducks, the support for the ideas. You guys are amazing. But you guys got to hit that notification bell down there. It'll notify you when your boy uploads. But we'll see you on the next one, guys. Have yourselves a good day. Peace.